because I'm in trouble. You're in trouble. I'm in trouble. You're always in trouble. Well, we're back, and we're having a good time. Yep. Having, a good time. <laughs> having a great time. <laughs> like you would say, no, I'm really hating every moment of this. Anyway, um, conversation question I always get. In fact, whenever I do MEA conventions and I do a burnout as one of the titles, the room's packed. And I, I think it's pretty funny that actually people go to conventions to learn about burning out. That's like going to a bar to learn about AA. Yeah, I, it's I, paradoxical. I so how <laughs> – a drummer used the word paradoxical. That's yeah, impressive. Just learned it. Burnout. Recommendations, tips, thoughts. What, what do you say to people? Well, I mean, the, the essence of burnout is when you're not interested anymore, when, yep. you're, when you're not connected to what you're doing. Uh, I mean, the, the typical cheap line is you can't burn out unless you've been on fire. Mm. So, I mean, I, first of all, you've got to be on fire. Even before you Julie made a face at that. That's I a good know, quote. There. That's a good quote. Um, so I think you have to stand back and go, is my contribution connecting? Is it making a difference? Do I, do I feel a sense of satisfaction? Is there benefit for me in this as well as everybody else? And I, we probably all burn out. We probably quit our jobs two or three times a day where we go, I don't do this anymore. Instead of standing back and going, what am I doing? And most importantly, why am I doing Have what you I'm read doing? the book um, Emotional Equations? Yep. It's, yeah, one of his equations is suffering equals despair without meaning. Yep. You know, and the thing I, I, I always try and focus on is the suffering is going to be there. You're a band director. It's not going to change. It's what causes the burnout is we forget about the meaning. We forget about yeah, the all fly. the good that we do. And so any tips on how people can maybe rekindle that spirit? Uh, I think for all of us every day, if, if you look at why we, why we do what we do, and then we start going, first is why, and then we go, this is how we're going to do it, and then this is what we're going to do. But if you start with what and you forget why, this is just a, 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 like a bunch of pieces of puzzle, a jigsaw puzzle on the table, but you don't have the picture on the box. Well, and I, I think music teachers especially are always so focused on the next concert, the next yep. performance. That yep. we, we, don't put the, we don't put the why in front of our faces very often. So maybe, maybe it's just a little more why and a little less what in our future. And just remember, you're changing people's lives for the better. Absolutely. That's a pretty good why. Yeah, we're living proof of that, right? Yep. Amen. Take care, everyone. We'll see you next time.